Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair your Zuzu Pets gearbox. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the broken gears. And I have a bunch of them right here. I'm going to link these in the description. Obviously you won't need this many, you'll need two maximum. And both of them may not be split, it may just be one, it may be both. Usually it is both, so it is nice to have extras. I have a lot of Zuzu Pets, so I need to get a lot of gears to fix most of them. But anyways, so this is a good gearbox. I actually just fixed this one recently. As you can see, there is, I'm gonna put it into this Zuzu pet right here. This is a new one I got recently. As you can see, it does work great. It move, it's smooth. The motor noise is, um, when I move it with my hands, there is, resistance and you can hear the motor actually moving. But on this one, take a look at this one. There's no motor noise and it spins freely. There's no resistance. So if I put it in this Zuzu pet, it does nothing. So we're gonna be fixing that one today. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and so the first step in fixing your Zuzu Pets gearbox, I'm going to lower the camera here so you can see, is you're going to, what I like to do is I like to remove this wheel, not this one, but the one that's not on the same side as the, um, the little, the piece that pops up so it can spin around like that, but the other side. So I take a, a, a flathead screwdriver and I gently pry underneath. Some are a little harder. And, sometimes, and there'll usually be hair trapped on that axle too, so it's good to remove that. So I like to do that. That makes it a lot easier moving forward. So now you're gonna take apart the four screws on this side of the gearbox. I'm gonna move my light so you can see it a little better. You're going to remove this cover. Hold the motor right here on the, on the tip and then hold both of the wheels and this whole assembly will pop out. Now we can set this aside. So this is the first gear that usually fails in the Zuzu Pet. This one's actually still good, but I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it anyways. So you use a thin, you use the same flathead screwdriver. If yours is split, it'll literally just come off with almost no force at all. And you're gonna take your next, your new eight tooth gear as you can see, there's eight teeth. Both of the gears that fail on these Zuzu Pets are um, eight teeth. And how I do is I just put the gear on the table and I gently, very gently, put it on like so. You don't have to put it all the way on, but like enough so like, yeah. I mean, I guess that is all the way in, but if it looks like this, then you've done it right. And this gear is still good, but I'm gonna set it aside for now because I'd rather put a brand new one in here. So the next step, you're gonna to get to the second gear now. We're going to pull these two tabs, pull these two tabs out, and then this whole piece comes off. As you can see, I just pulled them out and then kind of wiggle. Sometimes you'll have to like kind of wiggle this piece in order to get it off. Mine just kind of came right out, but sometimes you'll need to, when you get to here, you'll kind of need to wiggle it a bit and then it'll come out. So in my case, the gear is literally split in half. Look at that. See, there's the, there's the eight tooth gear that split. All right, so here's how I like to do this. I actually like to use some needle nose, needle nose pliers. I'm gonna pull out this axle. This whole, the whole gear came out with it, but I would pull that axle out and then I would get that gear out separate and then I'm just going to take off this one. So this is where we need to put our new gear on. So I'm going to, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to get another brand new eight tooth gear and I'm gonna do the same thing. Set it on the table, push it on. So now it looks like this. And we, this isn't enough though. We need to go, we need it to get, we need it to go in a little bit more. So what I like to do is I like to use this piece right here I like to kind of position it right here, like so that through this hole, and then I push it through the hole a little bit. It can be a little tricky, but kind of like this. Let's see if I can get it. ah. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so 
See, I mean, you don't have to like, you know, do that. Once you get it a little bit, then you can go in a decent amount. That should be a good amount, maybe a little looser. Oh shoot, I did the back side. There we go, a little loose. I think this, if it looks like this, it's pretty good. It could be kind of hard to adjust it. How I adjusted it, you just saw, I put the base on the table and I used this, I gently used this, I wish you call it. Phillips had to gently push it downward or upward depending on what you need to do. And it should look like this when you're done. Don't make sure it's not too low. If it's too low, then it's going to grind and it won't work. So what I, and then I just kind of slide this back into its little slot back here. You'll feel it go into it. See that axle right there? That's the slot that it goes into. And then I'm going to take this axle out and I'm going to take this little weird like pink thing in there. I'm going to put this gear in where it goes right there. And then I'm going to put the axle in. Like so. Sometimes you kind of need to wiggle it around. There, it just went in. As you can see, this gearbox is ready. So I'm gonna take the top and put it back on. Now you're gonna wait look for this, kind of move it around, wait till you can center it. There we go. It's pretty nice. So I, I just kind of pushed the wheel on a little bit more. Anyways, so now this looks good. What you can do is you can put the motor on and you can spin it to see if there's resistance. Hear that? Nice smooth motor noise, that's what we want. Now we're going to put it back in. Make sure these metal tabs are up on the motor. Oh wait, I pushed this in too much, huh? Try that out a little bit. There we go. You don't need to push it in like I did. I just did that. Because sometimes, some of my Zuzu Pets, the wheels are out so much that they actually like rub on the side of the Zuzu Pet, which I hate it when that happens, but. Oh, <laughs> there's a Seiko clock I have next to me right now. It's going off. So if you, the little thing doesn't go on, you just kind of push it out, move the wheel. Come on. There you go. Make sure this goes in. So yeah, bas what's playing music right now is a Seiko Melody Clock. I'm actually gonna do a restoration on that next. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna put this on last. And I'm going to just put this on now. And then finally, you're just going to put the other side on here. And again, this side kind of went in a little too much. So I'm just gonna pry it out. There we go. Nice smooth motor noise. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our Zuzu Pet. And we're gonna see if it worked. Come on. Watch this. Look at that. So yeah, that is the repair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. And yeah, just thank you for watching and I hope this helps.